What do you do, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Crypto Channel 3 to 9. Today's video is going to be about that Wolf Capital, and today's the day that I'm going to finally unstake my stake and bounce out of Wolf Capital. Because, like I said to you two videos ago about Wolf Capital, Wolf Capital reached its peak and now it's collapsing. Okay, it is literally collapsing. All right, so everybody is just doing a bank run. So I'm going to try to get my money as fast as I can. So right now, let me go on stake. So today is Thursday. It's um, 16.54 p.m. UTC time. So I need to claim before uh, 17 o'clock. Otherwise, I'll have to wait another week. Okay. So I'm going to try to claim my funds and, um, yeah, get out of Wolf Capital because, um, yeah, it's just going downhill right and no matter what they say you know um the project is collapsing and you know they posted a trade where the guys are pending withdrawal so it's all good so i'm gonna pay a uh, three percent or forty percent tax whatever on this uh staked amount but uh, you know at least i'm out and i had some funds uh, out of this project okay so at least I will not be empty. I will not be living empty handed. The reason why I'm living Wolf Capital, like I said to you guys on the previous video, two videos ago about Wolf Capital, I mentioned that Wolf Capital was a big Ponzi scheme and still is a big Ponzi scheme. And then since the, the, um, the, var the fixed APR stopped, they stopped the, um, the withdrawals and deposits and everything else right so all the inflows stopped as well okay so if you come over here and see deposits the deposits they slow down all right they slow down and guess what <laughs> you know now because deposits slow down they are saying that they have bad trade okay over 20 weeks of trading they are having one week of bad trades i'm like so how come there is a 40 percent gap when you only had one bad week of trading okay it does not make sense and then uh, this is the btc chart right so right here we can see that btc had a pump in june back in june 21st of june okay and then from there btc has been consolidating okay so has been trading between 29.5 and 31.5 okay so usually when this happens you know it's not recommended to trade uh between this consolidation period because it's very risky right so you got a five percent margin five percent right there from here to the from there okay that's why i have not touched btc since then because you know it's just too risky it can go either go up or either can go down okay so why would you invest a huge lump sum of funds into consolidation period right so it just not makes sense it does not make sense okay and then uh, if you come over here to the smart contract, we can see lots of requests to withdraw. Okay, lots of requests to withdraw. You know, people just want to go out, get out. I mean, you know, as you can see right here, withdraw, 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 withdraw. Request withdraw. That means people are clicking and staking. Okay, people want out. So let me go back. Uh, 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 back. Let me try to show you the analytics. Let's see what's up with the analytics right here. As you can see right here, is declining. Okay, transfer amounts, boom, nothing, right? So let me zoom in so you can see it properly. So they apply the changes on the fifth. Okay, so let me go one week back. So prior to that, you know, you could see that money was going in, right? So the red black bar is the money going in. You know, as you can see right here, people were still investing in the project, right? People were still investing in the project, but since, stay there, stay there. Since, oh, God damn it, stay there. Okay, since they, they made the update about the rush update about Okay, so now we are going to rip the band aid off and uh, we are going variable APR instead of fixed APR. Okay, so that's what happened. Okay, and since then, 
no money going in right so no money going in you know only a few people made a few deposits but you know not much is happening because the big ponzi is showing its cracks okay and uh, because of that right so we can see now this was a bad uh trading week because no money went in right or just a few amounts went in so they lost a huge money so another thing is i don't like is the variable apr means it could go from 0 0.01 to whatever okay so let's say this week they had a bad trade okay so instead of getting 0 0.8 or 1.1 now they're gonna say i suspect they're gonna say this hey we had a bad trading week so we are going to give you 0.01 percent of your stake for the whole week <laughs> they can do that they can literally do that because they have the capability to do that because it's a variable APR, okay? It's based on their alleged gains, okay? So if they had a bad week, they say, okay, we're going to give you 0.01%, and guess what? You cannot do anything about it, okay? So that's why I, I don't like it, and they have not been fully transparent about trades, and come on, guys, nobody trades on the consolidation period. Even my, even myself, I'm not, I'm not uh, an expert trader, but I know when there is a consolidation period. I know it's very risky to trade on a consolidation period, and I don't trade on a consolidation period because it's a very, very risky trade. Okay, there are plenty other coins out there where you can trade, and um, you said you decided to go with BTC. Come on, come in, come on. You don't go long on BTC when you know that, you know, it's going to cap out on 31.5, right? And you don't go short when BTC is like 29K, 29, 29.5K, okay? Because it might bounce back up, you know, there is a possibility because it's consolidating, right? So, you know, it is what it is. So that's why I'm out, well, I'm requesting my withdrawal. So let's see how long it's going to take. And if I'm going to receive the withdrawal, the my funds, and how much I'm going to receive. Okay, so 45 bucks. So let's do the maths real quick. So 45 bucks times, let's say, let's call it 35%. 35%. Huh? No. I'm doing this wrong. 45 times. Oh. 45 times 35 percent so i'll get like 30 bucks 30 bucks from my take okay if that okay so we'll see but you know like i said once i get my stake, i will come over here and give an update okay so this is just one of my accounts okay i have another account all right so i also request my mistake on the other account okay this is just for the youtube purpose video okay and uh, yeah those are the updates in regards to wolf capital so today they are meant to have an ama in regards to payments oh we should see the claim over here and uh yeah i'll be looking forward to the ama and see what they gotta say how much the pawns he got right now as you can see right here there is no money available the smart contract only has 544 bucks so we're supposed to have some amount available to claim but nothing right there so i don't know what's going on but time will tell but for me i'm done with wolf capital i just want out just want my money back or some of the money back and uh, apply those funds into my own trading buy beat account okay so that being said guys i'm gonna wrap this video up good luck to everyone that stills roll still rolling with wolf capital for me i'm gonna stay out and i'm gonna invest myself into my buy beat account where i have full control of my funds that being said stay tuned in for the next one peace